Hello everyone, James here from JVC Paints. Hope everybody's doing well out there, having a good weekend. Um, today I'm doing another Tamiya Weathering Master dry brush effect uh, tutorial. Um, so there will be some live action coming up here pretty soon. Uh, this time I'm doing green, um, and I'm doing it on the 28 millimeter uh, Danish World War II uh, Landsberg armored car from Great Escape Games. I'm doing a Danish army for bolt action. Here you can see that I've primed it black. Uh, most of the model is resin, uh, with the exception of the commander who was metal. And I believe the hatch was metal as well. Um, but yeah, I primed it black uh, all over, and then I got the airbrush out. The base color here uh, was a dark green that I used for most of my Soviet and British armor. Uh, and I gave it a 45 degree dusting of uh, all the drab to just pick out some details. Um, there's not a lot of reference for this, especially the Danish version on the internet, so uh, I just went with green. Uh, but you can see here on the uh, Stern uh, Hall MMG that uh, the resin, the primer, didn't really take, so it tended to chip a little bit here and there, but I worked around it. We're going to use the uh, green uh, weathering chalk here uh, from uh, Tamiya. Um, you've seen the photo, so let's get this started. Again, I'm kind of a little bit afraid because I can only do this in one take. But yeah, just like the uh, the uh, gray that I showed you before, this is the same deal. You just rub this little brush down here and you'll pick up all the pigment that you need. Um, if it's a bit noisy, there's a lot of bugs outside. I've got a fan going. It's probably about 32 or so degrees Celsius in here right now. Um, I've got a hat on so I don't drip sweat all over everything. So, got all the chalk on there. Let's start. We'll start with the turret of the armored car here. Um, so, yeah, this is the, uh, the last part of the uh, Danish army um, that uh, I've been working on for bolt action. Um, it's from Great Escape Games. Um, there's going to be a video of the, showing the whole army here pretty soon. Um, and uh, I waited a long, long time to get this army. I ordered them way back in November. So. Um, this has been a long time coming. I'm very, very happy that uh, we're almost at the finishing line with these guys. Um, so let's just take a quick peek. So hopefully you can see the difference here. I'm looking through the camera at the same time here. So that's this side, and this is this side. So the dust really, really, really does pick it all up. Um, better get back in frame here. So, um, yeah, and just go over it lightly. Um, but I did, I, I'm doing this. I'm going to probably do a, a dark yellow vehicle here pretty soon, too. So I just wanted to show you how they all work, it's because, uh, you know, it's one of these things that's like, well, maybe this color looks good, or this color looks good, but this one doesn't work. So, um, I've used these before on my Soviet tanks as well. Um, the color that I painted uh, this armored car, I wasn't really sure. There's not heaps and heaps of reference for the Danish army, um, and um, uh, so I just kind of assumed from matching, kind of, sort of matching up the colors that... Um, are on some of the photos of the, the, the artillery and things like that, or the anti-tank guns that are still around, put this to the side, that it was kind of an olivey green, dark green, something that the British would have as well. That kind of color. Um, reference material-wise for uniforms, I don't really want to get into it right away, or right now, I should say, but um, it was a bit bit odd. So, um, same with this. I haven't, I've, I'm not 100% finished. We're going to do this, but I'm going to show it to you 100% finished here when I, I'm all done. But um, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about markings, if I'm going to put any markings on it. Other weathering, I'm figuring, well, to be honest with you, I don't know how much weathering these vehicles would have on them. Um, from the simple fact that the Danish army wasn't exactly super well prepared for what happened. I mean, you know, granted, I mean, they lasted, what, like four or six hours against the Germans on that Sunday. So, um, you know, they probably just thought they were a bunch of rowdy tourists, uh, you know. So I don't really know what I'm going to do for markings. Uh, I am going to try and find something out um, and, and uh, detail it this afternoon. Um, I'm, of course, I'm going to paint the things like the machine guns and all that other wonderful stuff and the headlights and try to do the best on the grills. But for other weathering, I think, you know, just a little bit of dirt on the wheels. Um, because let's face it, I mean, I don't know how much action they would have got. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes! How much action they would have got, um, you know, because... I mean, I'm sure they, they, they did some uh, maneuvers and things like that, you know, after Poland was invaded. Um, but you got to remember, you know, Denmark and Norway were invaded, you know, a good month before uh, France, Belgium, and Holland uh, got the uh, Blitzkrieg treatment. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that works out. But, but so far, so good. I'm very, very pleased with the resin of this kit. Um, and uh, I've got that's one thing I definitely got to say about the Great Escape Games resin kit. Um, I don't usually paint a lot of resin stuff. Um, and uh, oops, there's a big scratch. I'll have to go back and fix that up later a bit later. Um, 
but uh, the actual casting of it is really, really good. So, uh, highly recommend it. They did a great job. So this is what it looks like, all dusted up. So that's that. Um, next time you see this, I'm going to have the tires done and any other little bits of weathering I've got to do. And of course, I'm going to have the commander all painted up as well. So that's the green dust here. Again, just a small little tutorial um, on how to use the uh, Tamiya weathering uh, stuff. There's a little piece of flint there. So yeah, guys, so next time you see this, it's, uh, it's going to be all tarted up and ready for the table. Fun never ends in my place. It says, Kikan Abunai Hachi. Danger. Oh my god. Bees. We have killer bees under my house. Let's go take a look. So here's the back of the house. You can just see against the white there. That's one of these bees that's going in. Um, and they were going into the house. It's kind of like the landing thing of the of the Death Star. They were entering into the house. These are the bees that were there, these giant killer bees. The guy from the city came by, he gassed them out, then he nailed the thing shut. We haven't seen one since. But he happened to drop one of the screws that he used, and guess who drove over it? That's right, me. So there's a flat tire. There's the proof that he dropped the screw. I'm not too happy, as you can see. And then I had to drive around with a little dummy tire for a couple of days before I got it swapped out. Back to the armored car. And here it is, the finished Great Escape Games World War II Danish Landsberg Panzerbogna. I guess that's how it's pronounced. It's an armored car um, in uh, 156 scale resin. Um, yeah, I mentioned this before that I really like the resin on this kit. I don't do a lot of resin kits, so um, the uh, you can see here, I'll show you um, my mistakes here. But the, the primer maybe wasn't the best in the world, and in a couple places it kind of flaked off. So I just kind of fudged it with a bit of a brown wash here and there. Um, and then when I put on the, uh, the, the matte varnish, I guess it was... It's a Vallejo matte varnish. Uh, I do use it quite regular, but I guess it was just a little bit humid. It started to pool, and I got that little white caking. So uh, you can see on the tires here, I've got to probably go over it a little bit here, too, and clean that up. Um, but other than that, um, it worked out really, really well. Um, and I can tell now, look, look at different angles. You can see how it right here, like on the front here, a little bit of pooling. So I don't know what I'll do. I'm sure I'll figure something out. <laughs> but uh, great little kit. I don't you do a lot of resin. I really enjoy doing this one. So... Um, the Danish army is finished now, so the, one of the next videos for me, I can't promise it will be the next video, will be the sh showcase of the entire Danish army that I got from uh, Grayscape Games. So, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, great little kit. Uh, I did wait a long time for the army, but uh, it did finally come, and uh, this was actually sent out to me because it was not in the initial box um, that came, the order when it came, and I contacted them, and they immediately uh, sent it out to me. No extra cost uh, on the postage, which is really great. So I think his name is Stuart at Great Escape Games. Big thumbs up for him. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and uh, take it easy, and we'll talk to you later. All right, keep those brushes moving. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.